because thou shalt not kill. You cannot kill anything, anybody, because it's all God's creation. Yes. The most is that they excommunicate, yeah? Yes. Excommunicate, that's all. And Buddha also said like that, if somebody is bad for the group or for the Shangha, then just alienate them, that's all, until they become better. Yes. If they will. But killing is never a tenet of any religion. Yes, yes. Yeah, as far as I know, and not in our group, in any case, non-violence, ahimsa, is a universal law that we abide by. Yes. So long as we live in this physical body. Everybody should have peace, yeah. Yeah, everybody should have peace, that's correct. Yes. They misunderstand. Jihad is never about going out killing another human being, no matter if they believe in you or not. Yes. Everybody has the freedom to believe in whatever he wants to believe in. Yeah. And uh, even God gives humans free will. Yes. yes. So how can we as a human dare to force some belief on somebody else by even using violent means to coerce them or to threaten them or to frighten them into believing in our own religion? Yes. Yeah? yes. I never use that. In fact, I always tell people, let them be, okay? When he's ready, he comes. Even in your family, you don't coerce them, you don't force them to believe in your master. Understand. Which is me, <laughs> for example. <laughs> yeah? We never do that. Yes. We have to use reason and logic with whomever we want to convince. And if after some time, if they're not convinced, then just let them be. Their time has not come. Hmm? Just like baby in the house, he cannot walk yet. You don't force him. Yes, understand. Same thing, everything has to come naturally. We can help it a little bit, but we cannot force, stress the tree so that he grows big quickly. Yes, We just yes. put water, yeah? Yes. And sunshine in the area and... We need to have patience. Right. You must have patience. Everything has its own time. Hmm? Yes. You cannot stress the tree to make it grow quick. You just give him water, maybe some nutrients, natural fertilizer, water and sunshine, then he will grow in his own time. This is the most terrible thing that happened to Islam. I'm sure the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him forever, in heaven, in God's love, that he would never advise anybody to go fighting. For sure, yes. They were just trying to protect themselves in hiding and everything like that. So even the celebration for some master's birthday, they do it at night. Yes. The whole month, they, they eat in the evening only, so that it's not too obvious to other people's eyes in the daytime. Yes. They call it Ramadan. That was the celebration birthday of Rama. And then for one whole month, they gather together, maybe listen to the prophet or exchange their uh, spiritual knowledge, and then meditate and pray the whole day long until evening, then they eat. It's more secretive. Yes. For example, before we didn't have electricity. Yeah. So if you cook for the big group of people, then there'll be big smoke. Oh. Yeah. Mostly they were hiding at that time. So if oh. they cook in the forest or something, or in the mountain, at night it is not visible. Oh. Mm, because it's a big gathering. I understand. Everybody comes and sees the prophet mm. and their brother and sister in the same Muslim faith at that time. So they have to cook in the night time. Yes. When they gather so big like that in a secretive mm. mountain or forest, then it's better at night. Yes, understand. And so nowadays, even people are still celebrating Ramadan, which is good, which is good. Just that there might be no need for the night time anymore. They could eat one meal a day, but it doesn't have to be at night. Yes. Yeah, and they are hungry all day and all that. But never mind, these are harmless things. It's yes. harmless things. At that time, because the power, the government at that time was chasing and hunting the prophet, peace be upon him, and his disciples. Yes. Just like with many other masters and many other masters' disciples. Yes. Since the time, you don't even remember. Master and disciples always have had trouble. We had our share for their case. Yes. We have our share. I have my share also, some of that, but I'm still alive, and that's thanks to God. Yes. Protection. Thanks to God. Thank to God's protection. I could have died several times. Oh, no. And if it's not by others hunting, then by karma of the world, you know? Yes. I could have died many times. But God still wants me to continue working, so 
has kept me alive. <laughs> God has kept me alive. So that's all right. If I die, it's also all right. It's all according to heaven's will. Thanks God, Master still with us. If I can stay, it's also all right because then I can work. Yeah. I can help some people to understand more about the true religion and true faith. Thank you, Master. Not just believe in something that you want to believe, like jihad, meaning going out and killing anybody. Even if jihad means kill the infidel, it's supposed to be infidel, means the bad people, or the people who betray Muslims, for example. These people, they killed in Kabul just recently now, or before at the airport. They are innocent. Definitely. They have done nothing to Muslims, nothing wrong. So they're not the infidel. The ones who kill them are infidels because they make a bad name. Yes. Black in the name of a peaceful, great religion like Islam. Yeah, so they are bad, these people. But maybe just misunderstanding. But still, the Quran or Hadith never truly tells people to go out and kill anybody. Especially the innocent like that. Children and elderly mm-hmm. and women as well, you see? Yes. So that's absolutely not Islam. Absolutely not Muslim. Yes. They lack in the name of the great religion and it's very, very sad. Very sad. Okay? Yes, Master. Even if I'm not like an official Muslim, but I'm very, very sad. Because I know it's a great religion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? It is. It is, yes, yes. And they teach people to do good things, to be charitable, and to be a good guest on earth, even. And during Ramadan, they go out do charity and all that. True. But that's all they should do. Helping each other, helping the neighbors, helping the needy, not killing the innocent. No. Anybody who misunderstands Islam, they should wake up. There's one sentence, maybe, in the Quran or Hadith, I forgot which one. Both are holy books, but there's one sentence, like the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was supposed to be very angry because somebody killed his disciple or something. At that Mm. time, it was like the government declared war on them. Just like always, like with Jesus' time. Yes. Yeah, when they misunderstand, they want to kill any religious uh, master because they worry that they teach them something bad. If they don't understand the master's teaching, they would think, oh, how can? For example, if somebody comes now and says that he's a Muslim master, then the government will say, no, this is Islam. We already have Islam. You are not. You're not the master. Yes. We don't need. Just like people misunderstand, they say, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the the only one and the last one. Yes. It's okay at that time. He was the only one that they should believe in. Yes. And he was maybe the last one because before he went to heaven, he did not appoint another official successor. Yes, understand. So he is the last one, maybe. Yes. Now. Just like uh, some time ago, I told you guys, I don't want any successor because I don't want anybody to go through so much suffering like the way I did. Yes. I told a long time ago, maybe in Chinese, many decades ago. Yes, I remember. Yeah, you have heard that? Yeah, I remember. Okay. So, after I die, all of you will say, Oh, Master is the last one, the only one. I mean, in your group. Yes, yes. yes. But there will be other Masters who come out somewhere else. Yes. So, I will not be just the last of the last of all the last. That, like, there will be no other Masters after me. There will be. Understand. If the earthlings deserve another master, then God will send one. So life after life, there's always a master coming and going to teach humankind because they are blindfolded, they are ignorant, they are poisoned by the devils, by the satans, misleading talk or magic or power, whatever. They are dark force that they're using on humans and poisoning them life after life. So they misunderstand a lot, like misunderstand jihad and all that. Yes. So I told you there's one sentence in the Quran or maybe Hadith. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is supposed to have said that go and fight them and strike their neck and all that. That's not what he said. Yes. I told you already that was somebody, you know, who tried to to advise the government that they have to put that in the Quran because he he faked it. He said he's a friend of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and then uh, saying that he heard the Prophet say that. Oh. You know, during the the time of the persecution. But the government kept, I would say, hunting them, not the prophet and his disciples. They were all hiding. Yes, yes. Maybe the only thing 
that so-called fighting is that they shield it, their families and the prophet and other members. Yes. Somebody would stand there and like stop the massacre, stop their sacrifice there, just do they something. They just uh, protect, huh? protect themselves. That's right, just to protect them. And so the other ones can escape while they are like delaying the forward running of the soldiers or authority at that time. Yes. So somebody died, sacrificed for that. And of course the prophet would say, these people will go to heaven because they fought for a spiritual reason. Yes, yes. That's for sure. But they did not go out and fight or anything. They just sacrificed. So others couldn't escape. Yes. My God, life after life on earth, there's so much bloodshed from good, good, godly masters and saintly disciples. Our earth is full of the blood of these saintly beings. That's why we don't get out of this shackle of Maya, because the more we do, the more we are in debt. And then we go to hell, and then cannot get out. And then all the masters come, same thing happens and again. Yes. Even all these decades in such a democratic kind of political era, like in our time, in many countries, there's more freedom for faith, you know, new faith, old faith, more freedom. Like, for example, in Taiwan, yes, mostly very free. Yes. Even then, for decades, I have always been on the run, often, often. Even if they don't kill you, they blacken your name and they say all kinds of things that you have no voice to talk. Yeah. Love. 